Let me show you my DJI Mini 2 video settings. So when it comes to video settings on the DJI Mini 2, I don't really do anything special. I usually shoot everything on automatic, but I do lock the exposure to have a consistent exposure through the video. In some scenarios though, I do use manual exposure because sometimes the auto exposure on the Mini 2 overexposes everything. So let me start the drone and show you exactly how I'm using the video settings, what are my video settings, and how I expose my shots. Okay guys, so now the drone is in the air. Let me show you exactly what settings I'm using on the DJI Mini 2. So usually, like I said, I have everything set to automatic. You can see it on the bottom right corner. You can switch between automatic and manual. Usually I have everything set on automatic and I'm shooting in 4K, 24 frames per second for the most part. And when it comes to white balance, you can go to white balance by clicking the three dots on the top right and then go to camera. So my white balance setting for the most part is 5500 Kelvin because for the most part I'm shooting in daylight. I don't really shoot with this drone in the nighttime. So 5500 Kelvin is more than perfect for my kind of usage. But if you're shooting at night, you'll need to uh, change the white balance or you can simply leave it on automatic. I just love to have consistent same white balance through all of my DJI Mini 2 clips. Now how I lock the exposure, it's very simple. Usually I find the scene that I want to shoot. For example, if I want to shoot this kind of a landscape and I want to just go forward with the drone, I will find a spot where the exposure looks decent enough, like here for example, and I'm gonna, uh, and I'm gonna click the lock, auto exposure lock on the bottom right corner. Just click it one time and as you can see now it turned yellow. That means the exposure is locked so no matter how much I'm going to change the angle of the drone, everything is going to be locked. And that's it. Then I start filming basically. And usually I film in the cine smooth mode because I love the slow speed of the filming of the drone. I don't really film in sport mode and sometimes I do film in normal mode but for the most part I'm using cine smooth mode because I like how smooth it is and how cinematic it looks. And then I just start recording and record and take a couple of clips. It's very, very simple. That's the main reason why I love using this drone because it's extremely simple to use and it's pretty amazing. All right, now sometimes I say that the camera of the Mini 2 overexposes some shots. Let me show you an example. So right, if I'm gonna go down and I, wanna, and I want to film this kind of a shot, for my eyes, this right now looks overexposed. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click the automatic settings. I'm gonna disable the automatic settings, click on manual, and then I'm gonna leave my ISO at 100 to have the best image quality possible. And afterwards, I'm gonna play around with the shutter speed until I'll see a proper amount of exposure. So this is, for my eyes, way too overexposed. I'm gonna switch it to one over 640, I think. Yeah, one over 640 looks great. And then again, I'm just gonna start filming. Switch to cine smooth mode and start filming whatever I want. Let me show you the difference between me setting the setting manually and between the drone exposing the shot. So this is now the manual settings that I set before. And this is the drone exposing the shot. As you can see, the drone gives it a little bit more exposure than needed in my personal opinion. So my exposure settings look a little bit darker. And this is the drone exposing the image. Honestly, it's a matter of personal preference. I just like to have my uh, shots a little bit on the dark side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Perfect landing. All right, so this is the settings that I use for the most part on the DJI Mini 2. And as you can see, it's very, very simple. 
For the most part, I'm shooting everything on automatic, and sometimes, because the drone overexposes some images, I use manual settings. And I really love this drone because it's really simple to use, and I think it's the perfect drone for beginners like myself. And here, guys, right now, I will show you some clips that I shot with this drone, with the settings that I showed you in this video. I hope you will enjoy it and find it useful, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.